guys, it's Emily, and I'm making this video because I just want you guys to know what's been going on in my life and why I've been so absent lately. Um, something very tragic and horrific just happened in my family. Um, I lost my brother on Friday morning, July 5th. He took his own life. Um, me and my family are still very, very shocked and overwhelmed and we really don't know what to make of it um, my brother did suffer from depression and anxiety and all things that I feel that people don't take serious enough of I'm not going to get into details but I just wanted you all to know that that is why I've been absent I am leaving on Saturday to go to where I am from, which is Staten Island, New York, and there will be a mass for my brother. Um, you know, we're all very, um, very sad and shocked. I'm still in the shocked phase of the grieving process, but um, my brother was an amazing person and he will never be forgotten, and I know that he's with me right now, and there's so much to to be thankful for even even throughout this horrific time I just also want to quickly say through this whole tragedy that's happened I've realized life is so incredibly short and one minute you could be talking to somebody and then the next they're gone so I urge every single one of you to tell people you love them and if you're struggling with something you're not alone you have to reach out and you have to talk to somebody and if you feel like you don't know who to talk to there's always somebody that you can talk to always you know whether it's an operator that you call and you speak to that person or it's your neighbor or your friend you know mental illness is real depression is real anxiety is real I suffer from anxiety I think every single family member in my family suffers from anxiety it is real and anybody that says it's all in your head just politely walk away from them because it's not and if you suffer from it you know it's very real and everything that's happened has just, it's put everything into perspective that right here and right now is the only thing that matters to me anymore, you know? The people that are here with me and just to take it, you know, moment by moment, day by day, not to be thinking about, you know, a goal that's 10 years away or just all the the petty things I used to think about you know it doesn't matter anymore you know you start to realize that that person that you love is no longer here and and how suddenly that person was taken away it really makes you start to think about your own happiness and the things that you want in your life and the things that you do deserve because we all deserve happiness and if you're working a job that you can't stand quit it you know if you want to go back to school but you're 40 years old or 50 years old and you feel like you can't do it you know life is just so incredibly short to feel like everything is in a in a time slot and we're being rushed you know and I hate to say it but social media is horrible nowadays we're all comparing each other to the next person this person you know has this car that person has that type of body that person is perfect that person is this that and and if you're unhappy with where you are it's only going to make you feel worse 
but the bottom line is where you are in your life is where you are in your life and you can't be comparing it to other people because everybody has their own journey you know let's say you're you're 30 years old and you don't have it all together and let's say somebody else has it all together and they're 30 good for them you know but everybody has a different path you know some of us don't wake up and and live our whole lives knowing that we're going to be a doctor you know because not all of us are smart like that you know growing up i used to I used to struggle in math and science. I was horrible in math and science. I can't tell you the amount of tutors I had, but I realized and I accepted the fact that, you know what? I sing, I dance, I do makeup. I'm more artistic as a human being and creative, you know, but that doesn't make me any less of a human being than somebody that wants to be a rocket scientist, you know? Um, I just feel like that's important to know that you don't have to live that type of a life in order to be happy. You have to live a life that you want to live. If you want to be a tattoo artist, be a tattoo artist. You know, if you want to be a hairstylist, be a hairstylist. If you want to make jewelry, make jewelry. If you want to make skincare, make skincare. If you want to work on cars all day, do that. But do it because you want to do it, not because it's something your parents are pushing. Or, you know, if you, if you're afraid to come out to your parents, just come out. You know, life is so short to be anything but you. And I know I sound like I'm like some Tony Roberts like <laughs> preacher, but this has really opened my eyes. And it's made me realize that all of it doesn't matter anymore. All those little things that used to make me so upset, it doesn't matter. Because something so tragic has just occurred in my life that I literally never thought would ever happen. And it's, it's happened. It's going on right now. I lost my brother, my best friend. You know what I mean? I was so close with this person and they're gone. They're gone. They're never coming back, you know? And think about it. All the things that we just, we take for granted, you know? Because our mom didn't allow us to, you know, get a certain shoe or cell phone or, and then we, you know, throw a temper tantrum and this and that, but it's like, what if your mom was gone tomorrow? Then the cell phone and the pair of shoes wouldn't matter, would it? You know, I'm just trying to make everybody realize that, that life is just completely unexpected and and you can't prepare for what tomorrow is because tomorrow could just take everything away, you know? So, um, long story short, I just wanted to let you guys know about what just occurred in my life and what I'm dealing with right now. I'm dealing with it in my own time. I also have to be there for my mother and my father to make sure that they're okay during this because they're also going through a lot right now. We all are. Um, I just have to make sure that everybody, you know, is eating, I'm eating, you know, everybody's taken care of at this point because this is something so very shocking. So I just wanted to come on here and make this video to let you guys know that I am here and I am going to be making future beauty videos, you know, self-care videos, self-love videos, and I just wanted you to know that if there was an absence on my end where I was and, and what I was going through and you weren't confused, you know? Um, but you guys can always, you know, message me, direct message me. Down below is where I list the social medias that, the social platforms that I'm on that you can reach out to me. And I will always, always, always reply. Um, and I also just wanna say thank you so much to 
all of you who continue to support me, write to me. Um, a lot of you guys already know that he has passed and you've reached out to me and I just can't thank you for the continuous amount of support and any of you guys that donated to his foundation, the fundraiser that we have going on, I just want to say thank you for donating even if it's five dollars, it's appreciated. appreciated. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that and for you to know that I am grieving along with my family and I'm going to be gone for a little tiny bit, but I will be back. It will be a slow process for me to come back on here and start being happy and chippy and talking about makeup again, but makeup is something that I've always loved and I know that my brother, my brother would want me to continue doing makeup, so that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to make him proud. So I'm going to end it on a positive note and I just wanted to say all of that and that I love you guys and please you know, if you know any family, family members that are going through something like this, just make sure to be there for them and let them know that they're not alone. And if there's something that they can't express, make sure that they go and get the help that they need and constantly watch over them and be near them. And the more that you leave that person alone, the more they will feel alone. So just be there for them and I just wanted to spread that message. So thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll see you all in my next one. Thank you so much.